Hi guys, welcome to No Math. My name is Sir Bench Antonio. And on this video, we will discuss common monomial factoring. This lesson is intended for high school mathematics, especially for grade 8 students. If you are not yet subscribed on my channel, please hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. Factoring is one of the techniques that you need to learn in mathematics enabled for you to solve an equation. So let us start with the technique of common monomial factoring. Let us find the factor of the given expression. 1, 16 p to the 4th power plus 4 p cubed. Enabled for you to get the common monomial factor is first to get the greatest common factor of the given numerical coefficients. Let's say that we have here 16 and 4, and let us get their factors. The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16 by listing. And the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. So therefore, their greatest common factor is said to be 4. So that is their GCF, 4. Next is to get the common factor of our variables. We have here p to the 4th power and p to the 3rd. And p to the 4th power is also p to the 3rd times p. And it is p to the 3rd. So therefore, the common factor is p to the 3rd power. Or simply, check the lowest exponent that you can see on each terms, we have 4 and 3 as an exponent. So 3 is the smallest. So we can use this as our common factor. So therefore, we have now this 4p to the third power as our common monomial factor. The next thing that we will do is to divide each terms on the uh, given common common monomial factor. So there, we need to divide the first term, 16p to the 4th power, to the common monomial factor, 4p to the 3rd power. So 16 divided by 4, we have 4, and p to the 4th power divided by p to the 3rd power, that will give us p by subtracting their exponent. So that is our first term for the second factor, 4p. The second one is to divide the second term to the given common monomial factor. And that we have 4p to the third power divided by 4p to the third power. That will give us 1. So since that our sign here is a positive, so we will use a positive 1. Therefore, this is now our factors of the given expression. 4p to the third power multiplied by 4p plus 1. Let us try example number 2. Let us find the factors of the given expression 6x to the fifth power y plus 2xy to the third power minus 6xy. So first, we need to get the GCF of 6, 2, and 6. So for our first term, second term, and the third term, so the GCF is 2. Next, let us get the first, uh, the common factor of our first variable x. We have x to the fifth, we have x, and we have we also have x on our third term. So the greatest common factor, check the smallest uh, exponent, which is 1. So we have x to the first power, or just simply x. On the second variable y, we have y, y cubed, and y. So get their GCF, and the smallest exponent is y to the first, or simply y. So this is now our common monomial factor. So next step is to divide each term on the given common monomial factor. 
So we have 6 x to the fifth power y divided by 2xy. So divide the numerical coefficient, 6 divided by 2 is 3. x to the fifth divided by x, just subtract their exponent, which is x to the fourth. Then y divided by y is cancelled out. So the first term for the second factor is 3x to the fourth power. Next one is 2x y cube divided by 2xy. So divide their coefficient, 2 divided by 2, that will give us 1, so we don't need to write 1. And divide the first variable, which is x, that is cancelled out, or simply 1 again. And the second variable, y cube divided by y, subtract their exponent, that will give us y squared. Then, it is positive plus y squared. On the third term, we have negative 6xy divided by 2xy. So divide their coefficient, that will give us negative 3, as negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Cancel the x and cancel the y, as will give us 1. So therefore, the last term is minus 3. And these are now our factors. 2xy multiplied by 3x to the 4th plus y squared minus 3. Let's try the third example. Find the factors of the given expression 21m cubed n to the 9th power minus 27m to the 4th n squared minus 12m cubed n. So the GCF of our Numerical coefficient 21, 27, and 12, you will observe that it is 3. And the GCF, or the common factor of our m cube, m to the fourth, and m cube again, the smallest exponent is cube, so therefore it is m cube. And on the second variable, which is n to the ninth power, n squared, and n, the smallest exponent is n to the first, or just simply n. So this is now our common monomial factor. And that, we will now divide each term to the given common monomial factor. 21m cubed, n to the ninth, divided by 3m cubed, n. 21 divided by 3 is 7. m cubed will be cancelled as 1. Then n to the 9 divided by n, subtract their exponent, that is n to the 8. The second one is negative 27 m to the 4th n squared divided by to the common monomial factor 3m cubed n. Divide the coefficient, negative 27 divided by 3 is negative Nine. Then, m to the fourth divided by m cubed, subtract their exponent, that is, m to the first or m. And then, n is squared divided by n, that will give us n. And the third one is negative 12 m cubed n divided by, to the common monomial factor, 3m cubed n. Just divide their common, uh, their numerical coefficient, that negative 12 divided by 3, that is negative 4. m cubed and m cubed will be 1, and divided by m will also be 1. So that is negative 4. And these are the, now the three terms of our second factor. That we have 7n to the 8th power minus 9mn minus 4. And these are now our factors. 3m cubed n times 7n to the 8 minus 9mn minus 4. For you to check if your answer is correct, just distribute the given common or the uh, common monomial factor to each of the terms on the second factor. Multiply 3 times 7 is 21. m cubed that's m cubed, and n times n to the 8 is n to the 9. Check. 
Multiply to the second term. 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. m cubed times m is m to the fourth. And n times n is n squared. Check. And last one, multiply to the third term. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. m cubed and n just copy. And that is correct. So you will now check if your uh, factors that you have got is correct. And I have this math challenge for you. Try to factor out 4x to the 5th, y cubed, z cubed, minus 20x to the 4th, y squared, z, minus 24x cubed, y cubed, z cubed, minus 28x to the 6th, y squared z to the fourth using the common monomial factor. And if you are not yet subscribed on my channel, do not forget to hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. Thank you guys for watching.